Welcome back everyone, uh, Mick here from Iron Dundee. Just a, a very quick intro before I kick it off today. Um, I'm going to be doing another how to to do some aesthetics on your uh, banner in your channel. Uh, people have asked me how I put my social media links into the banner, so I'm going to show you that. And I'm also going to throw in um, how to add your Instagram logo and your title or your tag into your videos so catch it in a few minutes guys see you soon so welcome back folks um today i'm going to show you um, another how-to video in regards to your social media on your banner so this little icon here for the Instagram um, you can add any social media platform as long as you've got a link and a profile on that site it can be added onto this banner so I was asked to show how people can do this again yes once again there is many 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 channels out there that um, you can go and view this and how to do it um, but with um, keeping up with what I've been doing in the past um, putting these videos out people seem to like them so for the motor vlogging community I will happily help and if you've got any other ideas or you want to know something let me know and I'm more than happy to try and work it out how to do it and then do a how-to video so let's get cracking so the first thing is obviously you want to be on your channel um, and on here you want to keep it, you want to you don't want to kiss it you want to click on the customize channel button this will open up to the YouTube creator so on the left hand side you'll have the customization button um, same place that we did if you've seen the other video uh, which was how to add a watermark um, icon um, it is under the same area under this top tab here you'll see basic info now as you can see I already have the Instagram tag here um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it make sure I will publish it then that has changed I go back to my other tab you can see it's still there but once I give that refresh page it's gone so I wanted to show you how to add it so if you click back onto your customized channel and you go onto this section that says add link you will get a link title and the URL. So this is where you want to get your URL. So I'll come back up to the Iron Dundee. As you can see, I've got my link here. So I will highlight that. You can either right click it and copy, or you can press Control C. Click back to your YouTube channel. In the link title, type in what social media it is. And you can either right click and paste or you can control V now <clears throat> I'm going to add my Facebook at the same time so I click on here same thing again go up to my Facebook highlight my Facebook right click it copy it back to the customization YouTube put in here Facebook enter the URL now this is the important part up the top you have publish you need to click on publish and then you may be able to go back to your page refresh your page and you'll see I've got both a Facebook link and an Instagram link which when pressed will open up into my profile going to the other one clicking on the Instagram will open my profile there so I hope you've enjoyed that it is a quick aesthetics to your layout um, for your branding I think it helps if people come to your channel and are looking at your videos at least they can jump into your social media so if there's any questions please feel free put them in the comments or, and I will answer them or you can hit me up on Instagram by just clicking this link here on my channel or just joining me at Iron Dundee on Instagram so for the next part of this video I'm going to show you how to actually add an Instagram icon in your videos within Filmora so stay tuned for that thanks all alrighty so here we are again 
Um, this one's a fairly simple one, um, but we'll go step by step. So this is the Instagram um, handle that we were talking about below. Um, what we'll do is we need to download this icon. So once again, uh, we'll put the description where the free PNG um, logo is um, and you can download it. We are looking for a logo which is transparent. Um, uh, so I will also link in my description, the logo, IG, logo, Instagram, icon, free download for attribution. But you do have a choice of whichever one you like on this one, this page. So I have just gone with the 300 by 300. Um, you just click it. So it comes up with a page here. Now, this is the fun part of most websites is that you'll find that you've got 20 different download buttons, um, as you can see. Ignore these, what you're looking for is this one here, download HD PNG. You click on the HD PNG, ignore this part here, and wait till it pops up where it says download now. Click on download now, it opens up, your logo is now down the bottom or in your download file. So, once again, we need to move into Filmora. Okay, so Filmora is open, click on new project and you will be brought to this page here. So same thing again, you bring your media in or however you are doing it normally, you would bring that information in. Um, I'm going to show you if you don't bring your media in, um, the difference with this one is that you kind of would have to do this every single time that you make a vlog. So you actually create the Instagram handle as you go. And it helps because you may want to, you know, add someone else in. So um, what I'm going to do is just show you if you accidentally just build this first and then you have to bring in media. So let's start with that. So the first thing you want to do is find your logo. It, for me, it's under downloads. There's the Instagram logo, select it and it will be brought in. Now drag this down to your video section, as you can see, and you will see the size of this. It is huge. No one wants to have a, a, a Instagram logo that big on your page. So just resize it as we're using the resizer to a size that you want. Now, I like to put it about roughly around here in a couple of, about 10 mil from the side, 10 mil from the bottom. Um, that's about half an inch, a little bit under half an inch for Americans. Um, so what we're also going to do here is we're going to add some animation to this. So if you just double click on your image, you'll get the animation button. What I like to use is it is under the preset motions. Uh, we're looking for one that says to the right. And I'm terrible at finding these it should just be in alphabetical order which they probably are uh, okay here it is to the right two so I like to see it, so it comes out that way and it goes back in that way so I like it that way by all means experiment click the ones that you like this is just the one that I like so the next part that you want to do is actually obviously add either your handle or someone else's Instagram name so you go up to titles here and you can go up to your uh, whichever titles you like. For me, I kind of like the lower third three, um, up to you what you use. Um, you can go into any of these. Uh, let's just use the default title. If you double click it, it, you'll see what it looks like. You can double click any of these titles to see what they look like. Once you've decided which one, drag it in, put it at the start. Now, if you double click on the default title, it will also take you to your name. So what we'll do is we will, oh well. If I could spell, what we'll do is I'll put my, uh, uh, my, my Instagram name in there. And I'm going to reduce that to about 28. So uh, maybe a little bit more. Maybe about 30, so a little bit bigger. Now, 
what you can do from here is you can obviously play around with whatever font if you have a particular font that you like I have a font which is um, this Bebus now and it looks more squarish that's just my personal one ignore what I just did then it's not the up and down you want to grab it like this and bring it down to somewhere looking like this so your Instagram handle your name is here you can make it a little bit neater and bigger if you like it's totally about just playing around with this figure here and what we want to do also is we want to add some animation on this so up the top you click on your animation and what I'm going to do is use a preset again and the one that I want to use is really hard to find like I said uh, it is this up down one um, and I'm going to add that process to it so I just want to show you if I press play now what it will look like and it's kind of out of sync so I don't really want that so the plan is to move this back to the start and drag this out a bit so we want it all to come in so the idea is to probably look at your Instagram logo see whereabouts it sort of finishes so you know mine finishes about yeah, about there so grab your title move it back until you get your start of the line there bring it back and it's still a little bit too slow so what I want to do then is I want to find that okay so what you're looking for is to find the sweet spot so that your Instagram logo appears and at the same time your name starts to bounce up as it comes in so you just play around with the the play button on your logo and on your title and it would kind of look like that um, obviously I can play it but now as you see the the logo has disappeared but my name is still there so I don't want that so pretty easy to do this click on your title and scroll it back until you get your meeting here on the logo line click play and there it is and they're all going to go together so obviously you can add a little bit more you can make it a little bit tidier than I did but I think you get the picture you can muck around with it now what I wanted to show you is that you have two situations here you may have built this first and you are ready now to import your media so I'm just going to import um, some media that I had here before which is the, the logo now as you can see with Filmora if I add the logo I can't put it any lower than what the actual line there is so I put it here now the, keep your project settings the problem that you'll have with this is that when you press play you're not going to see your Instagram title which just makes all your hard work silly so just remove your footage or knowing that you have to put it down there just group them together like this and bring them up one as such now bring your material down the bottom same thing again click on the save progress and now you'll see that we have everything working as the way we want it so with that said if you are happy with everything please feel free to like um, subscribe leave a comment if this is helpful if this isn't helpful that's fine as well I just feel for myself that I had to learn all this I didn't actually have anyone to show me so I thought this is a great opportunity to give back to this community which has helped me in other ways so thanks guys thanks for tuning in thanks for listening and I'll speak to you all in the next one take care ride safe